Hello everyone, I'm Chinese Mr. Mocha Lover, and thank you for joining me here. So, let's continue playing as Ching Chan, and this is definitely not where we left off last time. Obviously, I was struggling at the end of last episode. It's December 1st, 1946, and let's talk about Russia. Oh, Russia, Russia. So, they have a little bit of manpower, and for quite a while, I tabbed over to see what, what was up with them, because for the longest time, they were not getting more and more manpower. And you know what I discovered? They had negative 1,500 political power. So they couldn't get any more manpower. I'm thinking that they only have a little bit of manpower right now. is because, well, as you can tell, they're not doing so well. I'm not sure what happened. But I think it was the Socialist Republic of Italy, which I believe does have cores on all of Italy now. Yeah, all of Italy, because they reunited Italy under them. Obviously, France fell, but Italy was strong enough to continue pushing into Russia because Russia couldn't get any more manpower. They ha barely have any. And as you can tell, Italy still has three quarters of a million roundish. ish um, Germany isn't super strong either. They have a little bit of manpower. They're scraping the barrel. They have a lot of divisions. Italy has a lot of divisions. Czechia, Czechia has a few. Austria has a few. Hungary has not really many at all. But, but... I think it was Italy that did drive the push. Of course, I also kind of went a little crazy. But after the end of last episode, because we made our divisions like 40 combat width, which we I'm still out of artillery, I'm still out of guns, they started attacking my lines like crazy. It didn't make any sense since they were out of manpower. But nonetheless, I have a minor encirclement up here. And Russia is, well, not feeling so good. So, let us continue because we still need more aluminum. To make more planes so we can bomb the crap out of Japan and Korea which they're still here the Koreans couldn't hold off and yes that's the United States of America with a silver legion command what has happened to the United States you might ask well the USA is back they're back under Huey Long they uh, Canada is still here too between this episode and the last oh they're almost out of manpower too um, the American Union state almost completely capitulated Canada but then they decided to sign a white peace. They didn't want any more war with each other. And basically Canada left New England to die. That's quite literally it. So, uh, that was good for Huey Long. So, United States is back. Um, Spain, though, has been very, very strong. I'm really surprised at how strong Juan is. Uh, of course, we still have the, Amer the Union of Britain under Barbara Castle. So they still have a couple divisions. Uh, they took out Ireland. Actually, they annexed Ireland. And then Ireland revolted. And came back, and then they re annexed Ireland once again. So, they still have a lot of manpower there, too. So, a combination of the Social Republic of Italy, a little bit of Germany, and a lot of the Union of Britain has been able to kind of hold off Spain, but then really do a number on uh, Russia, which was insane, just because they don't have any manpower. Which is very, very nice. As, as you can tell, they have like no divisions on their border, apparently. Um. Which I'm kind of questioning. They're up to maybe 50 to 90. I know we have a couple guys surrounded here, but... It doesn't make any sense where they're at. I mean, I guess they're probably on this front just because Moscow is the frontline city now. Petrograd's under threat. Even, uh, what is it called? Tsaritsyn is also under threat as well, so... The Third International is... Pink. Well, they're the Union of Britain's color because France fell... But with this peace deal, it's going to look radically weird. Radically, radically weird. Um, we, I couldn't expel the Japanese from Korea because they're also 40 combat width. They're also very, very thick. And I'm joined here with my cat, Binky. My Chinese cat, Binky. Come on, Bink. Come on. That's all right. That's all right. Come on. Yeah, Bink. Cool. Anyways, um, I've just been trying to hold the line. It's been kind of nuts with the way... Japan has been. 40 combat with divisions. That's why we were losing, you know, before here. But once they started attacking, and they did push me back a little bit before, you know, this started happening. But, oh my god, just 40 combat with divisions. Let me show you the casualties. They started attacking me like crazy. I've only suffered one and a half million. We lost 1.2 million to the Russians. But they went ham against us. And they went a little bit more ham against, or we killed a lot of Russians off. But this Italians killed a lot off. The Commune of France has killed a lot off. The Union of Britain has killed a few off as well. But it's been just 
I'm glad I didn't show you what happened, just because it was a little frustrating, especially against Japan. Holy cow. This was frustrating. This down here. Russia was expected. I mean, they're, they were pretty beefy boys. Let's be real. They're pretty beefy boys, but beefy boys die off if they have no food or manpower to replenish their beefiness, which... I'm glad that their international has done really good or really well over here. Except they haven't done really well over here. And they've entered Austria already. Please don't fall. I Italy, please don't fall. At this point, though, I mean... There's really not much that can hold us back against Russia. So that'd be kind of nice. Um, you guys come over there. Just take these guys out, please. But now we must begin thinking about how we're going to take out Japan. Obviously, once the war is over, I'm going to annex Mongolia. Um, maybe once I get enough political power, I will use console commands, because right now, they have no autonomy. Um, I had someone concerned about Bhutan. Maybe I'll release him at the end of the campaign, just because Tibet still gives us a little bit of problems, I bet. And maybe I'll release Bhutan. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Nepal, I'm, I'm just going to keep Nepal. That's proper territory for us. Um, even though we have no historical basis for it, probably. It doesn't really matter. Oh, no, that's really... Oh, God, they got invaded by France. Where'd France go? Wait. France. Oh, Brazil also joined the Entente. So, they joined the Entente. They're national populace, but they joined the Entente. They've taken out a lot, good chunk of... Uh, they took out all of Argentina. And Russia's also down here. Um, yeah. France? I don't know where... Where's your home base? They have a little bit of manpower. That's pretty much it, though. Come on, guys. Get over there. Ah, uh, and I've been doing, of course, my research. I've got one nuclear bomb for Japan as well. Uh, keep making rocket engines. We need that for jet fighters and stuff like that. Give me half of you guys. Just come up here. Just come up there. Hurry this area off. Oh... Oh, oh, you guys actually took Seoul. Nice, good job, guys. You actually took Seoul. That's actually pretty good. Just in case. Oh, no, there goes the Republic of Italy. What's the forts there? Oh, what are we building? Oh, we're building more nuclear reactors, some roads, some military factories, some more roads. Um, I could still use way more guns. We have enough steel. Do that for now. How are you winning? Because these divisions were just garbage. They're like maybe 20 combat with maybe? Of course, they are attacking over rubber stuff. So. Slovenia's gone. Oh, this is looking bad for the third international. This is so not looking good. Hurry up, guys. Move, move, move. Moscow has fallen. Petrograd is a frontline city. Come on. Uh, the third international's lost quite a few guys. Austria's a major power now. Holy cow. Italy's gone. Actually, it takes Germany and Austria and the Union of Britain. And the Union of Britain fall, so. That's disgusting. That's really disgusting. Uh oh. Probably just an autosave. Good, good, good. Russia can't hold on for that much longer. Just keep pushing, guys. I don't know why the Commune of France is taking this territory. Or no. No, it's the Commune of France territory. Because the Union of Britain, yeah, Commune of France. Union of Britain's right there. Keep moving, keep moving, keep moving, keep moving. Oh, good, we overran a couple divisions. Nice. Take him out, just take him out. And we're continually getting navally invaded. As our guys attack, I did throw one of our own regular divisions over there to help out. Yo, your ranger, very nice. Oh, how many, how many casualties has Japan lost? Ooh, who's that? Panama. Canada's lost two and a half million. Japan has lost nearly, roughly four. Japan, 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 Japan. But once this war is over, oh no, their ships are all going to die. I will do an invasion of uh, Taiwan. Um, if you're winning, I don't mind supporting you a little bit more. Uh, these horses, they are 10 combat width. They're not very strong. We don't have guns, really. Not a lot, not a lot of guns. Oh, you might win, you might not, I don't know. Just going to hang on, guys. Make the Russian sandwich, come on. Divisions. Some of their divisions were encircled once again. But I don't know why. Russia had negative 1,500 
political power. I think it might be, though, due to because, like, the way the mechanics work in Hoi 4 now, that if you're, like, the leader of a faction, you can, like, boost legitimacy of your puppets or allies once they capitulate. So that they must have, like, spam that button or something. I, I really don't understand why they ran out of... Uh-oh. They ran out of manpower. Mighty Rock of Gibraltar has fallen. Union of Britain, you're doing a really great job. Italy's down here. Union of Britain's invaded Gibraltar. Um, pulled a sneaky on you, huh, Spain? Very nice. Come on, hurry up, get to the Tsaritsin. Oh, we can also buy more stuff. Return into Chinese lands? Nah, we ain't about that. Um, I could spend my political power to get more artillery and infantry equipment, but we're making 50 pieces of artillery a day, and over 580 pieces of infantry equipment a day, so that's good. I'm going to save it up so I can, like, kind of properly do the annexation of Mongolia, because this requires 300 political power, and once, I'll use console commands, like I said, but I will de delete my political power that way, too, so. Good. Cut that area off. Um, concerning Turkey, I might just, it really depends. I'll probably give a good chunk of this territory. I don't want to get involved in European affairs. I really don't. I really don't care. But, you know, I might take the caucus. I don't know. We'll see what happens. How much war participation do I have? They have 3%, 11%, 12%. Italy's got 30%, so they should get quite a bit of territory. I have 25%. So I should get at least a quarter, which includes probably all of Siberia, which isn't that great. I might just snake my way down here, maybe. And take some of the caucuses, maybe, maybe not. I don't know. I don't want to take too much. Like I said, I don't don't really want to get involved too much. It's good out of the logistic companies, though. And we're making some modern tanks. Or researching modern tanks, I should say. Come on. Russia, you're so close. You're 90% of the way there. And we've cut you off from the north. Oh, cut off. Sorry, it's in if you can. Take Saratov. Yeah, they're, they're extremely weak. They have, like, no divisions there. 3% strength, 2%, 1%. They literally died in front of us. 0%. Oh, you still have the division, though. Well, one of the divisions, at least. Make a sandwich. I love Russian sandwiches. You better hurry up, because I, I don't know what's wrong with Spain, but they've been, they've been very, very strong. Jobs for the people. Splendid. Is yeah, it's really isolationist there if you're attacking France. Um, I mean, they have a new command, but that's on core territory. It doesn't make any sense. I mean, yeah, I guess Germany did do a quite a big number. The German Empire so, inflicted a ton of casualties on the commune of France at the time, but still. I guess I had a lend -lease program. That's okay. That's okay. We need more naval bombers, which we're producing some, which is good. We got a ton of tactical bombers, actually. Actually, if that's the case... Oh, do I not have... Oh, I need to make more fighters, actually. I've stopped producing some of them. Do Korea up some more. And do we have enough naval bombers? We really don't. 400, 600... Oh, here we go. Um, delete that one. Go ahead and throw on a bunch of bombers here. 400. I thought we had more than that. 400. Uh, just do the 400 ones. Just because it's a nice number. I don't know how, how well this would do. Uh, do that as well. That would be fine. We'll see what happens. More more air support. Because we have a lot of fuel. We have a lot of fuel. Oh, we got a ton of rubber. I love all that rubber. Still... Oh, hello, 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 hello. Hungry, I've met you. Italy? Hello there, Italy. Oh my gosh, we have now enough... Aluminum, yes, yes. Oh, wait, maybe not. Hold on, we're out just a little bit more. I still need to make more transfer planes, too. Uh-oh, what's going on? <gasps> oh my goodness, they, they capitulated. They gave us half their stockpile. Now that's a nice China. That's a nice Qing China. Now... They're probably going to capitulate. I can't imagine them not capitulating now. Oh, the Serbian Republic has to die. God dang it. Guys, please kill the Serbian Republic off. Please, for the love of God, please kill it off. Um, concerning this, though, I'm going to start sending, like, 
Army's back here. I did delete like an army or two or something. So. Return this way, please. And honestly, you guys are still here. You're not really doing much, but I don't want to send you up to the front line because the supply is, well, it ain't good. Um, honestly, I could go, uh, you guys aren't really great. What's the supply like right here? 41 out of 84, 17, that's really not optimal. Hmm, uh-oh. Uh-oh, they're sinking some of our allied convoys, if that's the case. Uh, how big is that? That's not a big enough airbase. We really don't have a lot of airbases down here. I need to make more fighters. And I need more naval... we got some close air support. I need some naval bombers, though. How is the production of... Fighters are going okay. Transport planes need to get a little bit more. We need more aluminum. German East Asia, no thank you. Hungary, give me more. Anyone? Oh, yeah. Chechia. Yeah. That's kind of nice. Germany, glad to meet you. Glad to meet you. Very good. Uh, no one else is invading us, which is nice. Please crush these guys before you fall. Before anyone else dies here. Please kill off the Serbian Republic. They cannot be that strong, can they? We got a couple of divisions. Not a lot. Mm, I didn't realize that would happen. But now we have enough, hopefully. Ooh, we suck us out. Oh my goodness, that's good. That's so good. Actually, this is going to be... This is actually a smart thing to do. Because I want to destroy everything around here. Because I need to invade Taiwan. And then I'll probably go up to the Ryukyu Islands. Ryukyu Islands. Of course, we'll take out Korea. Production, production, production. Um, fighters are okay. N naval bombers are okay as well. Tons of tactical bombers. We could probably lower that down by just by a wee bit. There we go. Very nice. Very, very nice. Produce, produce, produce. And I need more military factories. As you can tell... A lot of these places aren't still very well developed. Some are, some places are okay, but some places just are not still. 10, 20, th oh, I just do 30. Ooh. Well, we're going to lose quite a few planes. Oh, we lost convoys, I guess. We lost a plane. They're only like World War I subs that we're sinking, but I'd rather have those sunk than nothing. Good. Good. Nice. Destroy the Japanese Navy if possible. Infiltration bombing, good. Let's continue to do this. Air superiority mission efficiency, yes. Air skirmish is always good to do. Are you guys suffering from anything? No, you're not, which is good. Just kind of stay there for now. The Serbian Republic, I think, is getting smaller and smaller. I really hope so. So with this peace deal, we will have Russia. I'll probably put them under the goal or the guise of... Or they'll be led by... Italy. Italy was very strong, so they might deserve it. Communist France should get something too. They might get the Ukraine. Uh, Germany, the South German Union itself, is a puppet of France, but I might just give them like the Baltic states. That might be okay. Oh my goodness. Holy goodness. There's a lot of things going on around here. We lost four planes. That's not ideal. Guys, you need to guard your stuff. Like, if you're going to do stuff, you got to guard it. So. Build up the air bases around here. Build up the air bases right here. And build them up right there as well. We're going to need a lot of air power. Um, surprise, I've not built you up yet. And build some, some stuff up right there too. Good, good, good. What are we producing? Artillery's coming along. Guns, only half. 100,000, 108,000 deficits of guns. More fighters. More transport planes. Concerning this, Indian Empire, thank you very much for doing that. Thank you very much, Germany. Thank you. Oh, we lost more allied stuff. Planes, whatever. Good. These guys just keep pushing down. I mean, it's going to be one heck of a struggle. Let's see, you guys have lost got a lot of guys. 
Obviously, I don't want Serbia when they fall. You guys are moving along back here. Great. We are on construction engineering. That's awesome. What is our deficit of naval bombers? Uh, 108. That doesn't seem like a deficit to me. Hmm. We have a lot of garbage planes, though. Um, I'll use whatever I have to use. Port strikes, they cancel, cancel the Lend lease. That's okay with me. Just keep doing what we're doing. Uh, actually, it might be beneficial to send some... I don't have enough fighters. I need more fighters. Oh, boy. We have a lot of spare fighters. We got a lot of interwar bombers. Put those guys in the water. Um, uh, I'll send you up here because there's not enough space really around here. What are you doing? Oh, yeah, you guys do that. Uh, what are you doing? Tactical bombers? Yeah, you come over here too and do that. And I'm going to send you guys over here to do the East China Sea. I feel good that I can probably do this now. You guys can do come back here, perhaps. Ooh, subs. You guys are doing Korea, which is fine. You guys, see if you can hit anything in the water. All right, let's do it again, guys. You're doing great. Anything else? Oh my goodness. Yemen countered their non-aggression pact with us. Oh, sunk two destroyers. Nice. Another destroyer. Another sub. Another destroyer. Another sub. Good. Just destroy them all. Convoys. Three subs. Nice. We lost four naval bombers. We lost another sub. More subs. More subs. Subs. Ah, two more destroyers. Very good. Increased production on naval bombers. We're going to need a lot of them. And I'm going to also have to research some strategic bombers. Good God, guys. What are you up to? Get rid of these guys. There's only two divisions there. Led by no one. Frank Merrill is doing a good job. Um, I just want to read the positive stuff. Nice. Another destroyer. Great. Another sub. Convoy. Subs. Destroyer. Oh, actually this one. There's some convoys moving around here too. That's okay. We're getting research marines. Come on, guys. Oh, Serbia is not feeling so good. Oh, the Entente got in circle too. Good. Russian sphere is going to die. Yeah, I really don't care about Turkey. I really don't. Hmm... Nope. Someone can't give me my goods. Come on, man. What am I paying you for? Switzerland. Oh, uh, sure. Yeah, I'll take that from Switzerland then. Nice. 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 Another destroyer. Good. Another destroyer. Two subs. Two subs. Oh, wait. Whoa, whoa. I lost 22 planes, but that's an entire navy there. A huge task force. Probably their main task force. Yeah. Yeah. These losses, not too bad concerning what we're hitting. Not too bad. Oh, do we do a port strike? Oh, I guess we did, in Busan. Oh, hello. Hello there. Oh, an encirclement, nice. Uh, they have 220 ships, good, 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 good. You guys might as well just come down here. And I forgot. We need more radar around here. This will help the performance of our bombers. Yes, good. Do it right there as well. Um, Federated Syndicates of Bolivia has fallen. And do it right there too. Lots and lots of radar. Lots and lots of military factories and air bases. Ah, there we go. Oh yeah, the German Union. So, here's what we're going to plan. Give me all of your score, and then we're going to divide this up. I'm not going to do this off screen, that wouldn't make any sense. So, Germany. Um, I don't think actually anyone really wants you all reunited, but you are following syndicalism. So I think this will be okay. I'm probably wrong. You know what, I have that too, because you don't want to give that to the Russians. So, Germany's whole again. I might core that territory for the Germans just because they could probably use it. Next up, Serbia, Italy, 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 Italy. What well, Italy should actually? Oh, right there, Italy. Um, just go ahead and take all this territory. 
you, you honestly probably have more jurisdiction over this territory than anyone else. Just go and take that as well. It doesn't really matter. It really, really doesn't matter too much. Don't give anything to Bulgaria because... Are they in the faction? I think they're in the faction. Yeah, there they are. Cool. Um, give, ma give that to them. Italy, you're going to get that. As well as that. Next up, uh, Bulgaria. You should get at least something from here. Uh, you know what? You can take all this. You can even get Constantinople, because why not? Commune of France. They might want all of control of them. <sighs> um, this is hard to decide. Union of Britain? Let's do Union of Britain next. Just because they are pretty powerful. They need, they need stuff. Give you... Uh... Give you Finland for now, since it's kind of like a northern... Not really, you're not a neighbor at all. But give them a northern area up here as well. Do that, something like that. Yeah, that would be okay. Union Brand will get that. Obviously, there's going to be puppets being released as well. Italy got all of this. Bulgaria got that. Romania... Well, let's go with Hungary next. Hungry. Hung oh, hungry. Yeah, hungry. Uh, you get this, and you know what? I'm just going to give you Transylvania because. Screw it, why not? There you go, Hungary. Um, you know what? Hungry, you're also going to get all of Romania because why not? Why the hell not? Uh, actually, Le Galicia Lodomeria did something as well. You can have this, that, this is probably terrible borders. Absolutely terrible. I'm going to save a lot of Russia for France, though. So Germany, this is probably a terrible, terrible thing to do. But have Poland. Here, eat Poland. There you go. And Germany, you know what, Union of Britain. Take this stuff as well. Take the Baltic States. There you go. And now France. Where is good old France? Um, I'll give France all of Turkey as well. Oh, uh, it's going to look so bad. I'll stop it right there. France. Um, I'm going to have to manually do this just because I want a good chunk of the territory under me. And of course, the game will lag very hard when it releases people, but whatever. Uh, get to the Urals so we get down there real quick. Mm, leave that open. Leave that open for now. I need to decide what I'm going to do with that. Good. Go and do that. Good. 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 Let's take Moscow. They'll release a puppet. Historical, you know, French-Russian relations. Good. Now, I actually am going to take all this territory and release a puppet. I'm not going to annex all this. It would be kind of insane. And give Tuva back to Mongolia. And then I'll annex Mongolia once we have enough political power. Good. Very nice. I might release Kazakhstan as well. It might be a good little puppet to have. Yeah, actually, a lot of this territory isn't worth very much at all. Holy cow. I mean, some of it's useful, but a lot of it isn't. I don't feel like I got a lot of a lot of the score here, but that's okay. I don't deserve a ton of score. What we're going to do with this area, though, I'm going to snake down here. I want Azerbaijan. Mm, give me the Caucasus, too. And the rest I'll give to France. This can all go to France. It's going to look disgusting. Absolutely dis... Uh, you know what? If I take this... That would be too bad. France did pretty well. The Union Brain got a lot. Hungary got a lot. Italy got a good chunk. Do I take this or do I not? Well, if I take this... Well, you know what? I'm not going to take it. I don't want to get involved in these affairs.
Looks disgusting, but let's see what the piece deal looks like. Alright, there you go. Not bad, not bad. Jing's pretty huge, pretty darn massive, and that's the way we like being huge and massive. So, let me tell you about the rest of the scope of this campaign. We are still at war with the Entente. I'm not going to invade Canada. I'm not going to invade the Entente. I really don't care about them. I got my cities back. That's all I wanted. So, I'm not going to invade them. Uh, with that in mind, though, I will take out Japan. It'll probably take us maybe, maybe two episodes to take them out. Probably two episodes, so that'll be the rest of the campaign. So, I must go, and I will leave you all here. So, with that in mind, guys, thank you very much for watching. Leave a like if you liked the video. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. I will, between this episode and the next, release some of these puppets once I've use up a lot of their aluminum but anyways hope you enjoyed it guys and hope you all have a great great day